So where we've been having a nightmare with the winter weather, we've now bedded down with straw. So this is a bale that we put in here. And um, the pigs are just happier. So we've got a mixture of the Berkshires and the Mangalitsas. You've got to do everything you can do to make life better for them. And this was the biggest stressor that I had with the pigs because this was going on all the time. Can you see this? That was going on all the time in winter. So all we need to do is, yes, it's a bit more of an investment, um, but it isn't too bad. We're looking at 35 pounds to bed this out. I think even 30 pounds, right? To bed this out. Look at how happy they are. I'm gonna to start to show you guys a video control of where the commercial pig farms, where they're keeping the pigs that you're eating. And then you'll come back and watch this and uh, and then we'll, <laughs> we'll decide who is doing it the right way. And you've got to understand there's a lot of green belt land that's doing nothing. So these commercial farms could easily farm on those green belt, easily. It's wonderful to see this. Man is a, man is a very wicked, very wicked being. The atrocities that are being committed to animals all over the world is shocking. These were the legal pigs that were seized in Dover just a few days ago. It's unbelievable what man will do. They say it's the consumer. It's the consumer, it's us that have forced farmers into these shortcuts, these diabolical, disgusting, unforgivable shortcuts. This is where meat is coming from. And this is from a farm that's based in the United Kingdom. I didn't make this up. This is available online for people to see. This is what ends up on our plates. And then we wonder why our children are sick. We wonder why we're all suffering from ailments that, you know, is just so unusual, so uncommon. It, you, it, it's almost your loss for words. They're cramped up so much that they start to attack each other. It, for me, it's, it's heartbreaking. price if you knew that this was what was going on would price be your principal reason to buy or not to buy look at the environment that these poor animals are living in and then it ends up in a beautiful package presented to us Shame on us. Shame on us. So you go from that intense, horrendous environment to something like this. How wonderful is this? Moral compass. I am so incredibly proud of what we're doing on the farm. So the pumpkins are going in. When we say organic, we mean organic. Pigs are not designed to be locked up in a tiny uh, area where they cannot even turn around or move. It does not make any sense at all. We are proud to use moral compass in what we are doing. Do pigs like strawberries? They like strawberries. <laughs> it 
Indeed, it is more labor intensive. Indeed, it is hard work. But it's a fair exchange. Ultimately, you will be taking this animal's life. The least you could do is give the animal a decent life. That is the very least that you could do. And I will do that. So help me God. I'd like to say a big thank you to my team. We are making incredible progress. We are working with Moral Compass. We are feeding our animals passionately, looking after them passionately, making sure that their overall welfare has been looked after. You, the consumer, it is you now that either allows these things to continue or you avoid you avoid this type of diabolical service that you are being offered too frequently. Good BMI. Godspeed. Pigs are really uh, very fascinating. <laughs>